Welcome to the Barrel Bros Podcast. This podcast is a continuation of the last episode. Enjoy. Have you um, seen the videos that had to be a living meme, where it's supposed to be a living god, like the black magic or whatever? What? Ethan starts doing black magic just by, like, the bullshit. Oh, yeah. You I, know what I'm talking the about? How to, the how to be a living god guy, the black magic guy. Yeah. I remember that shit, dude. I checked out his channel. Like, that's weird. That's weird stuff. I, and it's also it's also hilarious because it's obviously fucking... He's bullshit. Fake. <laughs> it's obviously fake. Yeah. I... There was one where he supposedly made a contract with a demon or some shit, and... Did he just, like, play... No, no, no. He, he, what, ha- what happened is, he received uh, an envelope in the mail that supposedly <laughs> contained the paper contract that he typed out and put in the mailbox himself. So why, so why was it sent through the mail? Did he ever explain that? Like, if it was a fucking demon, it well, should be... Well, it's the 21st century. How else are demons gonna... You know, get there. Like, I don't know. I don't terrifying know. To I don't know. I don't know. Like, you're like wearing shorts, you roll up your thigh, and there's just a fucking, like, burnt in, like, branded deed. That's and what I would think. And, and, and you, like, sign it, and then it, like, burns why, away. Why on your thigh? I mean, what are the. I mean, it could be on your abdomen, I guess. I was thinking, maybe, I, you were looking Big straight it, at your dick when you said that. I, maybe, like, maybe your abdomen, I guess. But you gotta think of it, like, your thigh, I mean. For me, it's big enough to put, you know, enough words to make it like a demon Dude, deed. you can do it on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, you gotta, like, you gotta, like, learn how to write No, you have to go into the mirror and carve it into your that, forehead. That's what I'm saying. You have to learn how to do, like, mirror writing, so... No, no, you carve it in so it'll look right on the mirror. I mean, I guess you can do it on your arm. Like, you start from the top of your arm and just like, read man, down, it doesn't, read it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't really matter what the hell you sign. All that matters is the blood. Well, I guess, like, it's like, it's like... Like X line, you know. You just, just cut yourself and just drip that shit on. Or 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 Sorry. like you know, or like if it's on your skin, you just like just poke with a pen. You know, if I was a demon, I would try to be a telemarketer with it. Call you, like call yeah, you. Yeah, they'd have to send but me their you information. But like, but like, I still wouldn't. You know, if I was trying to sell my soul. Uh, See, hold on, hold on. Here's how it would go. I'd call you up. Uh, you pick up the phone and you're like, hello. Hello, Mr. Daniel. Would you like to uh, sell your soul today for your wildest dreams? Now, see, see, you, know, like, you can't open up with that. What you need to you need to come across as someone who can solve a person's problems. Are you right? having problems with loneliness, okay, look, depression, look, 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 lack I, of money, I would, lack of interest, and no sexual release? You you really need to aim towards desperate individuals. Yeah. See, and, and another thing would be like, look. I understand you're a psychic trying to make a little money. I'm not going to go to the. Uh... No, I mean if you're if you're a demon though, you can just do like they do with like cheap Viagra on email. You just put in you just put in information. Most cheap Viagra ads I see are on Pornhub. To be honest, are you talking about from like recent <laughs> experience or? I mean, yeah, when I watch Shrek on Shrek on Pornhub. Shrek is on Pornhub. Yeah, so is the B movie yeah. and uh, Shark Tale. Uh, do you remember the Scatman music video? Yes, yeah, on the Scatman, yeah. it's on there. And, uh, and, uh, I mean, I, I have seen, like, um, there was some YouTuber I watched, and someone put a gameplay commentary of him on Pornhub. No, the, funny. the, uh, I the can't first, remember it was the, the first, uh, actual, um, but, uh, playthrough footage of Fallout 4 was on Pornhub. That makes sense. Oh, yeah, it was leaked. Yeah, they leaked it to Pornhub. That makes sense. Everyone just busted a nut to it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, or they busted a nut, watched it, and then they regained. Uh, their strength and busting their nuts. <laughs> <laughs> they made it through the refractory period. Yeah, yeah. Remember that time we were talking about how like someone sold their soul to the devil for playing music, but they never were good, never sold anything, never made any money. Oh yeah, he sold. That- <laughs> yeah, I said, what if someone sold their soul to Satan, but he just taught him how to play, but not good? <laughs> <laughs> like not enough to. <laughs> like they just ended up being shit. That reminds me of SNL skit with Bill Farrell. Like he like. <laughs> <laughs> like the devil came up, all right, show me a hit. And it's like dum 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 dum. Wait, no, that's already a song. It's like oh, okay. Uh, uh, you can only play covers. <laughs> no, you and, sell your soul to and, Satan. And he, no, no, Satan's trying to come up with like ne- next hit. Then he plays War Pigs. And he like plays all these others. Like, it's like <laughs> he's like, man, I guess I ain't got it anymore. I'm sorry. Still got your soul though. I'm like left. <laughs> Today I got ripped off at Wendy's. You did, dude. That sucks. I'm sorry about that, man. <laughs> No, like, I mean, like, even, even, like, even with my drink, I was ripped off. <laughs> like, because I pulled up, 
I'm like, hey, can I get a number two? And also, um, can I get two? a number two combo? Small, small, and uh, and can I get a dollar chicken sandwich with that? So like, yeah. Would you like to drink with that? Uh, no, I actually had to repeat it again. You had to repeat and, it like four times. Yeah, everything you wanted. And it's like, what do you want to drink? Oh, can I get a cherry vanilla Dr Pepper? I get this all the time. Yeah, they have that freestyle bitch where you can just put whatever you want in it. Yeah, and they can do it at the drive through too. And plus, the fucking sign on the front of it shows cherry vanilla coat. And I've already ordered it a bunch <laughs> of times before. Yes. And she's like, cherry vanilla Dr. Pepper. And you can just you can just hear it. You can hear her, the you, 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 her just, you can hear like looking around and looking back and forth. Sir, we don't have cherry vanilla Dr. Pepper. <laughs> okay, just give me regular Dr. Pepper then. And she's like, okay, that'd be 10 no, no, well, okay, three. this combo for a small is only six, six ninety nine. All right, so let's do the math real quick. You have six ninety nine, which is seven dollars plus tax has fifty six cents. So you have seven fifty six. Now plus a ninety nine cent sandwich. The ninety nine cent sandwich plus tax is a dollar seven. Add that together, and you have eight dollars and sixty three cents. Now, how are you getting ten twenty three out of that? Now, now I get. Like, okay, she was a little confused. I guess she was new at it. You know, when I said, you know, chicken sandwich, she might have thought, you know, a big one. I was like, okay, that makes sense, you know. That's about the same for two doubles. I meant two two combos. Well, didn't you say small, small chicken sandwich? I said 99 cent. Okay, well. That's... Actually, you said dollar chick, dollar crispy chicken sandwich. Yeah. Okay. Off the bat, yeah. yeah. And I pulled around, I was like, um, that's a dollar chicken, right? Yeah. No, no, specifically said... I think that's a little much. I just got the dollar chicken sandwich. No, sir, you did not. That is not all you ordered. Like she started yelling at him. Like, I, I understand I still ordered the number two, but the dollar chicken sandwich didn't bump it up $3. Yeah. So a lady just stole $2 from me today. How does that make you feel? Huh? And these people need to be paid more. $15 an hour. Okay, I think I think that argument's already gone. Yeah. <laughs> like no one's really doing that anymore. <laughs> I get paid seven twenty five an hour. I, I don't get paid enough to deal with all the bullshit that comes with the job. Oh my god, I remember when Tyler started, like everyone thought he was being a jackass and all that. And then like he like someone told him I told him to do something, someone told him to do said he said, Why? And after we got done I sat him down. But there are no whys in fast food. It's just fucking do it. Don't yeah, I remember why. that. I had three fries up there that I just put up there. Take these back. Put them up. Why? They're on board. They're fresh. Just do what I said. So I remember that vividly. But I found out, like, when I was doing my clinicals with that. Um, Did you finally find your penis? No. I mean, it's been hidden in there for a while. Yeah, it's re- real deep, and the fat rolls aren't helping either. Uh, <laughs> so, look, before that, you is, start your story, how does it feel to have an any penis? An any penis? How does it yeah. feel? Uh, I've always had it, so it's kind of, I don't know the difference. What? Oh, uh, yeah, I see. What you, yeah, I see. Is that, it, that makes sense, yeah. It's like saying, like, how does it feel to be Asian? I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh... Now... Had, God damn it, I forgot what I was going to say now. When you learned how to masturbate, Luke, did you start sticking stuff in? What was I saying before in? he asked me about this shit? <laughs> did what? What was I saying before he asked me about the... You're, you're talking about clinicals? Oh, yeah, that, uh... You finally discovered. Yeah, that, like, people treat me like I'm 30. Like, they, like, you know, they talk to me and treat me like I'm oh, 30. Right. Well, that's because you look like you're 30 when no one, when no one, when they don't know you. I, I had a stroke there. See, it's the complete opposite for me. People treat me as if I'm maybe 12, 13. Now, what happens is when you grow your beard in? You gotta grow a beard people Then people give me a strange look. <laughs> Dude, that's new. What even, is this kid doing? To get an even stranger look, grow a Fu Manchu. <laughs> yeah. I can't grow one of those, man. Like, my hair just doesn't grow that long. No, it's because Fu Manchus take many years to grow. That's what I said once in your Ooh. life. Because <laughs> like, it's some dedication. Yeah. yeah. It's or, a lot of Or, uh, you ever watch Kill Bill? Yeah. <laughs> like, the Chinese master. Just. <laughs> <laughs> just just fling your beard with your hand. Ha! Huh. And turn around being disappointed. That'd be great to do to your kids. Who was it? Cody said he would uh, he would better enjoy our podcast if we videotaped it. Yep, yeah, but then it would be a podcast. It'd well, be see, a po- podcast is be something a you listen to in the background while you're doing something else. Yeah. It allows a person to be 
productive while at the same time receive entertainment. I remember I used to watch... Um, it's like having the TV on in the background. Yeah. Which is now the Rooster Podcast. That's the name of it. But it used to be the Drunken Tank. The Drunk Tank. The, drunk the tank. Drunken Tank. Okay. Um, What's with you and borderline archaic words? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and I would, fall, like, I would fall asleep listening to it. And I would have dreams of what they're talking about. You dream you were there with them. Uh... Licking their nuts. What's your problem? <laughs> I mean, you're the one dreaming about licking their nuts. I mean, what's I never, your problem? I never said that. Have you had a dream where you lick someone's nuts? No. Why did you seem depressed? <laughs> Why did your face go to depressed mode when that happened? Don't worry about it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that my... Is that, uh, is that small enough to put, like, a regular... Uh, um, like a sock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, so now you can use a sock as a sort of makeshift pop filter. No, um, just oh, like on a, like on a concert mic. Like you would use like the put put over those. What are those called? Those little heads you can put on them. I think that's still a pop filter. What what, what, what is it supposed to do? It's supposed to be like a pop filter. Oh, uh, you're talking about like those those uh, styrofoam like, things, yeah. Yeah, uh, probably. I think I think it's I think it's small enough. Probably. Like I was going to describe it as you know what Axe Rose always had in Guns N' Roses when in their heyday. Um, <laughs> that's peace. I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. He always he always had like different color ones that's on quite his mind. Drugs. That, yeah, that's I mean, quite the reference to use. To yeah. Talk about yeah, I was just. I was saying what Axe Rose, Rose had in Guns see, N' Roses see, that, in their that's, heyday. That's where my head. That's where my head went. Like I was talking to Tyler with Swim one time, and that shitty. Do you remember that shitty uh, Brad Sanders approach uh, album I made? Uh, like a psychedelic looking one. Yeah. With okay. his face. Yeah. Okay. I, I told him I got inspiration from uh, the Sergeant's uh, from uh, Sergeant the, Pepper's Lonely, Lonely Heart Club, Club band by the Beatles album. What the fuck? And he's yeah, like, he's like, to he's like, he's like, how did you do that? I'm like, I, I really couldn't tell you. It just did. Uh, I just saw that and thought I should trip on magic mushrooms while looking at Brad Sanders' head. That's probably what. I, that's probably what I was doing. I was like trying to imagine what it would be like tripping. Trippin' balls. Trippin' balls? Are those like dippin' dots? No, that's the American Dad that's the American Dad uh episode. When they go like to the fake fa- they go to Family Land. They don't go to Disneyland. Go to Family Land. Okay, yeah, no that's where I got that from. Yeah, that's where that's from. where I got that from. I don't know that because I watched that the other day. Okay, so I was showing Quinn some stuff on iFunny. You know, actual funny stuff, not old memes. Right. And like he pulls up YouTube Man, and looks I funny in twenty sixteen. Wow. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know a lot of people um, disagree with they should have made that when they made the uh, Cleveland show they said they should have made one about Quagmire the Quagmire show but like ima- <laughs> imagine how I, I couldn't see that really working it would have been funnier than the Cleveland just, show but it'd be too much it'd be too much prostitution it'd be jokes. too much chin <laughs> It only would last yeah. one season. Le- if Leafy only had half that chin. Yeah. Then he'd have eight times as much chin as he has now. My little cousin watches Leafy. It is so great how we all can take a profile shot. Hey guys, Leafy here. And today we're going to be talking about this actual 23-year-old man who does some stupid shit. And uh, one thing I was like, look, I'm recording, so that's why the mic's in front of my face and like, I do so it has it to the, to the side. It's like, look, I mean, you don't have to have the mic in front of your face. I mean, we don't. No, we don't. Uh, but we also don't put... Uh, well, that's because... Non-face cam that's videos. That's because we are professionals. We are. We are a professional podcast. We have degrees we are, in podcasting on uh, YouTube. Uh, like, Louis, aren't, don't you have a doctorate? Don't you hold one of the three doctorates that yeah. have ever been issued? Yeah. Now, I only have a master's. And Luke is trying to get... I just have a, te- I just have a technical degree. No, you don't even have that. You couldn't even get into YouTube college because your SAT scores were too low. The what? other two that... What the fuck? So I, 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 had, I had okay There SATs. are only three degrees in podcasting. Three no, doctorates. No, I'm the blue collar. I'm the blue me, collar. I'm, I work my way me, up. Me, Jackie Chan, and Bill Nye the Science Guy. We are the only three <laughs> that have this doctorate. See, see, I'm the blue collar. I, I, I serve from maintenance. You know, I just plugged in cords, swept up. Yeah. That's up, very... you know, you know, skits, and I worked my way up, and I made it here. And uh, let me tell you, 
We put out some shit. Started from the bottom, now you're here. Yeah. At the bottom. Yeah. But <laughs> see, I wish I was like Drake, where my bottom was Degrassi. Yeah. Started from the bottom. <laughs> what? Yeah, you've what? never you've Before? never seen that meme. Drake's is Drake's life has actually started from Degrassi. Now we're here. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's talking about started from the bottom. He's a child star from Degrassi. I never watched Degrassi. His mom is a rich Jew. What the? Hell? Yeah. He did not start he's from not, the bottom. He's a Canadian. He's a Canadian Jew. Started what part from of the that bottom. screams bottom? Dude. Yeah. Like, he can't even, like, argue with, like... He hangs out with Future. Yeah, but he hangs out with Future. I know yeah. they go to Walmart, buy red hot dogs and flip-flops and sit on the beach for two days. I mean, if I if I was rich, if I made that much money, I still wouldn't be spending that much money. Now, would I buy some stupid shit? Oh, yeah. But, like, I mean, I but would... But the fact that they buy... Bargain brand hot dogs. In Those taste the best to me. Like, I'd rather have red hot dogs than... You'd rather have the ones that are dyed so you can't see the weird meat they put in. Yeah. Because <laughs> that weird meat is what gives it the different flavor. That's organs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's organs. That's the weird meat. Remember the time was at... Your, this is random. It's still about food. We was at your grandparents' house and they were watching like, this cooking show and they were like doing a vegetarian one. So, okay, let's make a, uh, a, a, a vegetable broth yeah, that's impossible, right? It's you remember not, the, the vegetable bro? I mean, it's not impossible. It's but, called just imbuing water with flavor. It's called juicing things. Yeah, but like that, that's what it, that's what the guy said on that program. I mean, I know I know we're used to making broth with animal bones. Yeah. Actually, you're probably used to buying it from the store. Yeah. But that's how they do it. Animal bones. I mean, do you still make them with animal bones? Sometimes. Yeah. That's why we have like forty pounds of soup bones in the freezer. Have you ever read Mob Psycho? No. Read it, man. <laughs> All right. It, it's, by, it's, it's, it's by one. Oh. It's by one. Oh. Dude, that shit is so good, man. Your face oh. was like was like iffy there. It's like, you ever read it? Yeah, don't. <laughs> That's how it was he was about to say. Dude, yeah. For some reason, one has a thing with just super overpowered uh, main protagonists. Yeah. I right, say so Mob Psycho is about a kid named Mob. And, and he's a psycho. And, and well, no, he's not a psycho, <laughs> but he has a. He's like the psycho he, from Borderlands. He's Lance. an esper. Oh wow! Well, or he has a, like he has ESP. He's an esper. ESP. That's what he has. An ESPer. Yeah, and he's basically the most the most powerful of them all. Now, between Mob Psy- between Mob and Saitama, who would win? Um, I don't know because I could actually see Mob being. Saitama. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Honestly. It's like in the future. Um, or in the past. I mean, I, I could legit see Mob grow up to be Saitama. Oh my god, did you remember that thing that showed you Papa Franku in uh, Saitama? No. I thought I did. No. I'm so sorry to shoot you down like that, but no. I'd no, say, I'd I'd say, to, um, I'd say Saitama's more powerful than Mob, though. No, I'm, I'm used to you shooting me down all the fucking I mean, like, time in my goddamn life. Well, it excuse sounds me? like it sounds like. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Could you? <laughs> it sounds like you're 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 bringing up some some, some repressed memories. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Can you repeat yeah. that? <laughs> All right. Now, uh, now, would you like to talk about it? No, no. <laughs> uh, fuck me. Now, the last time I shot you down was uh, <laughs> yesterday morning at. Uh, that's pretty, I mean, that's pretty recent. At 3 a.m., when you showed me that picture on your Facebook, there was a Do Not Disturb sign. It's like, it like, please knock, and it had notes from sheet music. And he just points his phone at me and says, could you knock that out? And I look at it, and I look at him and say, well, no, I couldn't, because the door's percussive, so it can't make the notes. And then he just, it looked like all the life <laughs> had drained from him. Uh, God. What the hell? But, Louie, it's great that you have all this free time now, because now you can regularly upload from your channel. Dude, yeah. Now, if anyone That's listening great, has not looked at the channel Scream and Semen, I recommend you do. What have you been playing recently, Louie, on your channel? Um, I've been playing recently Dark Souls 3, and a game that I haven't put up yet, but... Uh, I'd like to give a teaser for Uh-oh. it. Uh-oh. It's, it's a game called Cook, Serve, Delicious. Oh. It's oh. a game about cooking up food... And then serving it. Is he's, it like cooking, Mama? He's he's putting no. up a, he's putting up a teaser that this is probably going to come out after it, but oh no! And my ultimate goal 
is I've to, always wanted to play Cooking Mama. My ultimate goal is to one day turn my restaurant into a five-star restaurant. Oh, wow. Now, currently, I don't even have one star. I'm running sort of a fast food joint. The current menu is... I can only have four things on the menu right now. The current things are like fried chicken, burgers, oh. fries, and a salad, I think. Now, if you can master those, Actually, no. you can get a four star. Subtract one of those, add in the drink fountain. And I have to... Um, Just make it a burger joint to get the fried it's chicken. It's kind of annoying because I... Well, the problem is I have to cycle through different foods because you'll experience something called menu rot. And what that is, it's people getting tired of the same thing on the menu day after day. And fast food has a particularly high rate of menu rot, so I have to cycle through different stuff. So, like, I'll switch out the burger with the fried chicken. I'll switch out fries with, uh, I have a Mexican snack called sopapillas. Oh, damn. Sopapillas. Which is, like, some sort of deep fried thing with sugar on top. Yeah. Sopapillas yeah. are good. I'll cycle those in sometimes. Now, now pronounce it one more time. Sopapillas. That's some excellent pronunciation. It's <laughs> great. I I mean, come on, man. I said hear it again. You want to hear it one more time? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm talking about I had. I it. want to hear it one more time. Sopapillas. Oh, that. that. Can I? I'm sorry. What? Me? What was that? Sopapillas. It's a deep fried Mexican. Uh, I didn't cuisine. I didn't hear it quite right. One more time. <laughs> no. Okay. Now, could you say that into my phone so I can use that as a ringtone? <laughs> so we'll just go sopapillas. Over and over again. Yeah, we should have said your mom's poem and make like the same like, voice her ringtone. If, if, I, I prefer not to butcher someone else's language yet. It just doesn't sit I don't right think you was butchering. I think you were... I think you're spot you, on. We were spe- you were respecting well, That's it. what I'm trying. I'm trying to say it right. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Yeah. I was just trying to get trying to get, help you get the practice into it. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you? You can actually hear me say it in the video. <laughs> oh. So I can just go on that bitch and uh, download that video. I don't know. I don't know if I said it as good in the video as I did just now. What? What? You can. You can. You can like copy this and put it in there. <laughs> uh, are there any other games you're gonna start playing on your channel? By the way, it uh, Skyrim Remastered. Whenever that comes out. All right. I'll have I'll have two free copies of that. One on PlayStation. One on PC. This is a public service announcement. You do not. I repeat, you do not get a free copy of Skyrim Remastered on console. Wow. Yeah. Mafia 3, if I'm willing to buy it. Alright. Uh, I will. I might record my placement matches in competitive on Overwatch whenever I do that. But recently I've been experiencing some connection issues to that game. Ew. What else? There's a game called... Sips put up a new video today on a game called Osiris Dawn. And it's a it's an early access survival game in space. Now, like already that screams to me, don't don't buy it. It's gonna be No Man's Sky. Yeah, I watched the video. I mean, no matter how you spin it, it's an early access survival game. But it looked pretty cool to me. Yeah, I, it was I, like stranded deep. I, I liked what I saw. It was sort of like no, it was sort of like it was like Subnautica, but in space. All right. So I liked I liked what I saw. It has something that uh, No Man's Sky didn't. Like, in the No Man's Sky trailers, a common sight you'd see, like, advertising the different aliens on the planet was a giant space worm that came out of the ground. Yeah. This game actually has that. Uh, like, because Sips, he was, he wandered into this crater looking for titanium, and in the distance he saw, like, some sand shoot, like, just, like, sort of shoot up out of the ground. To, like, tremors? Yeah, and he was like, what the hell is that? And It's this- a Thresher Maw from Mass Effect. Yeah, this fucking thing just comes flying out of the ground towards him, and he's just staring at it in complete disbelief, and he's like, is this thing lunging at me? <laughs> and then he dies. <laughs> <laughs> and he dies, and he's like, what the hell? I mean, to me, that sold, to me, that sold the game. Uh, so I kind of want to get it. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, sounds good. And I have a bunch of other, like, random indie games in my Steam library that I could install and play. I don't know. I could pretty much play anything, because I figured out how to record games without lagging. Super Mario World, I could also play that. Yeah, I see you have the Star Wars Even for though that's rage-inducing. <laughs> play that too, but I kind of don't want to. I saw that was on your SNES recording test. Yeah. That just kind of rolls with the tongue, doesn't it? SNES recording test? It doesn't really roll. I mean, that, that's, that's something you really want to aim for with titles. It's to roll off the tongue. That sort of flowed. It didn't really roll. Or flow, or rhyme, I don't know. Or beat bop. It's like old rap. 
You know the song I'm talking about, Luke? Oh, yeah. Went to the store and went to, uh, went to the hat store and got a hat. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> who was that big collaborator from uh, Cochran? Superfly or something? No, that was Blowfly. Blowfly? Real name, Clarence Reed. Oh, my God. I listened to some of his shit. That shit is so nasty. It is. I listened to it, too. Have you listened to it? No. Here, what, do you, pause? what do you mean by nasty? Like it's just nasty pornogra- shit. Like pornographic fucking nasty. Yeah, I don't want to listen to that. Uh, no, you really he's don't. He's from your hometown. He's a, he's a, wasn't, did he do some collabs with Dr. Dre? He did some shit like that. I mean, he was the there, first there dirty of, rapper. There are a lot of things from my hometown. Like the personal computer. Yeah. yeah. And, and I mean, <laughs> the personal computer is from this hometown. And, and, and this isn't the computer center of the world, is it? No. Nah. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tokyo. No, it's not. It's, it's fucking Cupertino, you <laughs> dumb piece of shit. <laughs> Tokyo. <laughs> Please. Oh, man. speaking of Tokyo, I can't wait till the Olympics are there. Oh, shit. That's, Why is that? that? Be, because like, it'd be really pretty. It won't that's, be like... That's true. Like, I think I think there's going to be a lot of cherry trees blooming at the time of the Olympics. Yeah, the thing oh, is, man, that's going to be beautiful. Like the China, yes. like the Olympics China opener, that was one. That was a that was a cool one to watch. I didn't watch the, the Rio one because because I figured it should be like one firework. Compared to the London and and the China. Beijing, it was garbage. I mean, the Rio one, it's like they're hosting the event and the camera zooms out and you see like the fucking surroundings. It looks like a you know something from like a post apocalyptic Fallout <laughs> <laughs> game. Uh, I was I was either saying it's like oh you mean like Fast and Furious? I mean, what's the difference? <laughs> I'm just waiting for that because I'm just picturing like one guy with a shiny set. Wait, is it? It's still a road, dude. Isn't there? And a, then all yeah. of a sudden, like Baby Metal just runs out into the middle of the field. Wait, Baby Metal is doing doing something. It was on Loudwire. I was going to watch it, but uh. I think it was I think it was on break at work and I just had enough time to watch it, but like they just announced something. Let me see. I'm just see I'm just read the uh, title, see if it tells me. I remember the first time I ever found when I ever looked at baby metal, it was just like ho ho, this is You funny. remember they were on the weird they were on the weird list? Yeah, they're not that weird. Like with D Antworth and uh and uh D Antworth is weird shit. And I can't remember other bands. But that's how much it meant to me. <laughs> baby metal just got better and better. And they started collaborating with Dragon Baby Force. Baby Metal defends uh, their honor to, uh, to yeah. the death. Holy shit! You're right. Heavy Metal, Heavy Metal's honor to the death. Uh, what? I'm just looking at the title. Baby Metal defends their honor. A new to animated the... series. There's an animated series. What? Yeah. Baby Metal to defend Heavy Metal's honor in new animated series. Is it gonna be like? I don't know. You can pause it when you listen to the announcement. It, it, no, I mean, is it gonna be like? Um, those animes that are about uh, like idols, except these are gonna have a heavy metal band. Well, you know their songs are about like dude. Some all girl. the people who are commenting on this think they're not real metal, and then <laughs> you look at their other comments, and it's like all they listen to is death metal and screamo. That's all these people listen to, um, and they're saying it's not real metal. Well, I was saying like one of their like they, I can see it become a really good anime series because. Uh, their songs, no, their, their songs are about like one's like how a girl found this hair bow that helped her like have the magical powers like to to headbang or whatever, <laughs> and like near the end of the music video she's like wearing a collar so I can see it, like it, it sounds like a good what, <laughs> like one of their songs is about he- like a girl finds a hair bow that gave her the magical power to headbang or something. And That's then something there's weird. Gimme Chocolate, which is about Valentine's Day. I oh, mean, yeah. I mean, this would make good anime animated series. See, dude, it's actually going to be a magical girl mecha anime. They're they're going to run around being magical girls, but when they find an enemy that's too strong, they have to get into the baby metal megazord mm. and fight it. Or I think, or, or, or it could be like <laughs> with, that. With or it could be like metal. that. They all could be like you know powerless, you know, by themselves. No, no, no. But uh, it's going to be exactly what I said. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> this, this, but when they get like, together like, and their and their voices unite, they make some dude, kind of the magical, Megazord. I mean, yeah, they, the they, no, they, no, not the Megazord. Some magical monster dude, that like, come together. This this anime series needs to be as metal as it can be. So there needs to be powers. Did you ever violence. see Detroit City Metal? Some Vikings. No. Vikings have to be. There need to be Vikings somehow. That's right. Yeah, dude. Exactly what I said. Magical girl. Mecca, 
And then they like fight Vikings and kiss. I mean, giant they fight Gene Simmons, who grows the size of a building. I mean, giant mechs. That's that's a lot of metal. It is. Yeah. They fight in titanium mines. Yeah, that's what it is. No, to see do. what it is. Their very first enemy is going to be Gene Simmons eating up all the titanium in the world to become the most metal. And then they're going to kill him. Oh my god, and they pray and they pray to uh, to Dimebag for a strength. No, they don't. The... Stop. That, they that's a be. reference the Japanese aren't going to get. What? Oh. Uh, you forgot Japanese? that baby metal is Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot, yeah. Jesus Christ, man. Where know. else but Japan would baby metal occur? I don't know. And then why would they get an anime? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Dimebag. I mean, Jap- Japanese. I mean, the Japanese culture really fucking loves metal. Not really. No. A very small portion. <laughs> They're very dedicated. Wait, wait. Are you, <laughs> what, let me ask. What are you basing that statement off of? Um, one video, one YouTube video. <laughs> he's, basing, <laughs> he's basing it off the reception of Dragon Force. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, Speaking of Dragon Force, I was watching a, a YouTube video. It was uh, one of their game shows, or whatever. Where they get like guitarists like to battle each other, uh, so they're doing guitar tricks. You know, it's like a, some Japanese regular Japanese band that's on there, Dragon Force. So they're doing like one thing, and like the Japanese do like the elephant sound, and the last one that Dragon Force uses to win is a bomb dropping sound. You know, Brits and American band using a, dro- a bomb dropping sound on the Japanese band. They drop the nuke. No, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, in Fallout 3, in Megaton, in Japanese versions of the game, they didn't have the nuke mission. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are they still butthurt about that? Well, no, but there's some mutations in the gene pool. What's wrong with that? Yeah, well, that's how we ended up with gingers, isn't it? So we don't want to repeat it. <laughs> oh. Uh, Luke, do you want to sing us out? Do I want to sing us out? Yeah. Why, why want to sing bye-bye, Miss American Pie? <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> Do you want to keep going with that? No. What the hell? Remember this picture, Tyler? Why are you showing me a picture of a girl <laughs> with 37 Sharpie markers in her ass? Because it's an inside joke. Get it? Cause it's, get it? Get it? Because <laughs> it's, um, no. It's inside of her anus. All right, you've been listening to the Barrel Bros Podcast. Uh, so long and goodbye. Who is you? Uh, you is the second person, and it engages whoever is directly listening to us. And that is? Whoever is listening to us. Okay, I was thinking of maybe it's just a guy named you. Like, why you? You? No, actually, no, I, I'm lab partners with a guy named We. Okay, um, what does that have to do with someone named you? Like, tell me. Honestly, well, fuck. I know t- someone. No, who- honestly, goddamn, tell me. <laughs> Because I want to fucking know. I know someone named I, and I know someone named We, but I don't know anybody named You. Except for uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> that, that, that manga. <laughs> okay, okay, well you told me, thank you. Are we done? Yeah. Uh, you've been listening to the Bell Bros Podcast. So long, and goodbye. I'm used to you shooting me down all the fucking I mean, time like, in my goddamn life.